Well, parents, welcome to our June update. As you know, this is our third installment of trying this route of communication. As always, uh, please share your feedback if this is a viable way uh, to keep you informed of school happenings and events. As you might imagine, with heading into the last week of school, we'll have a short version for you. A couple of dates to pass along. On Monday, June 9th, we will have our annual field day. In the morning, our lower elementary will participate in the field day. And as you might imagine, in the afternoon, our upper elementary students uh, will participate. That's a huge undertaking. The kids really, really enjoy it. But thank you very much to all the parents who play a role in volunteering for it. Uh, as big as it is, there's no way that can be pulled off without the large level of support we receive from you. So hopefully we'll see you on June 9th. I know the kids will come back with lots of good stories uh, from field day. The next day on June 10th, if you have a fifth grader, that will be our annual fifth grade graduation ceremony, and that will occur in our gym and will take place at 2 o'clock. And before we sign off on the uh, airwaves, just one tip for uh, summer. Uh, help your child keep their reading skills sharp by reading regularly. Uh, one of the things as educators that we point out is reading certainly is a skill, similar to uh, shooting baskets, hitting a baseball, whatever type of skill development you would like to use as an analogy, it needs to be done regularly and importantly at their level uh, so that they can continue to refine those skills. One thing that we use with the kids is kind of a five finger test and that is if there are more than five words on one page of text that they're unfamiliar with, it's likely that that book is a little too challenging for them and then we'd like them to pick a different book. So when practicing we want to make sure that practice is at their reading level. To go back to uh, my sports analogy, if a child's not ready to be shooting three-pointers yet for in the world of basketball, obviously we'd want them closer to the rim so that they can have success and develop those skills they need so that they can eventually shoot those longer shots. Same thing for reading. Let's make sure they're not pretending to read Harry Potter if they're really not ready for it. But let's get those repetitions in over the summer to keep those skills sharp. Thank you once again for a great year. If you have any questions as we head into the uh, last week, please give us a call here in the office. Thank you.